Hello and welcome to today's training brought to you by the Volunteer Fire Department of Prospect. Today we're going to learn how to extinguish a fire in your home in a typical trash can setting by using the appropriate fire extinguisher. <laughs> That's not the sound you want to hear, and this is not the sight you want to see pulling up to your house. Welcome to Prospect Volunteer Fire Department's instructional series on fire safety. Three, two, one, go! Welcome to the Red Kingdom! Yeah. Before you consider using a fire extinguisher, you should understand a few things. First of all, we recommend you leave the building and call 911 from a safe place. If you determine that the fire is small enough for you to use a fire extinguisher, there are a few rules to remember. First of all, read the manufacturer's instructions on how to use it when you purchase the fire extinguisher. Second of all, fire extinguishers have a list of letters. This is considered a multi-purpose fire extinguisher. A, which is combustible materials like wood and paper, B, which is combustible fuels, and C, which is electrical fires. So this is most commonly used in a home. It can do all three types. Now let's talk a little bit about the placement first. The three most common areas fire extinguishers are placed in homes are the garage, the kitchen, and the basement or utility room. It's important that they be visible and readily accessible. You don't want to hide the fire extinguisher because when you need it, you need it. Next, if you do determine to fight a small fire, always be prepared to leave. You don't have to fight it to the end. If, if something goes wrong, be prepared to exit. We use the acronym PASS. P stands for pull. You will pull the pin out. A stands for aim. This one has a hose. You would aim it to the base of the fire. Some don't have a hose. It may just have a nozzle you would aim that to the base of the fire. The first S is squeeze. You would squeeze this bottom. And the second S is sweep. So that stands for pass. And the fire is extinguished. Always keep your back to the exit. You want to be able to leave if things get out of hand. Also, remember that a fire extinguisher is probably going to only last five to eight seconds before you're empty, so be prepared to leave for that reason as well. 